Hi, this is a Rob Watson Media Vlog. Just uh, ambling around, doing things, passing on thoughts about stuff. If you want to get in contact with me, go to the website, which is robwatsonmedia.net, or you can message me on Twitter or Instagram at robwmedia. Hello, uh, Rob Watson here. Just uh, come out for a walk on a fairly blustery, windy day. So uh, apologies if the sound quality isn't so great. I've uh, come out to Elston Meadows and there's, uh, there's quite a few people about having a, a stroll around. Um, so I thought what I'd do was just, uh, I haven't done a personal reflection for a while. Uh, and I thought what I'd do was just uh, share some uh, thoughts uh, about how we're getting on in the lockdown. You might uh, recognise this base, uh, this place. It was uh, I came out here last summer uh, when it was a nice hot July day, um, and uh, it's quite mild today. Actually, we're at that point, really that in between point between the the end of winter and the beginning of spring, and our eastern the you know mini beast from the east that we had a few weeks ago has really broken away and we've become a a very mild spring like so it's about 10 or 11 degrees at the moment which is very fertile ground but early you'd expect february to be a bit colder for a bit longer it doesn't mean to say we won't have another cold snap before you know during march and april uh, but the days are getting longer the sun is getting higher the birds are out singing uh, the trees don't yet have any uh, foliage on them uh, the buds uh, are not yet coming through oh, actually yeah no there's buds there's buds uh, kind of starting to emerge um, and you know it's like that that point where you kind of realize that that deep breath of the winter and combined with the lockdown this year <coughs> has been uh, quite a challenge and one of the things I've begun to kind of think about really is the we've a lot of us have begun to take uh, a different sense of experience a different uh, understanding of how we uh, engage with the world we have had to reduce our activity we've had to reduce how we run around you know do things meet people uh, fill our lives with social events uh, you know, work, in-person meetings, and instead we're sitting at home a lot and we're uh, having to look after family, look after uh, children, to do our jobs from screens and to fill our times in different ways. And uh, the last couple of weeks, while, while in the kind of main part of the lockdown, I've had time where I've... Um, I've kind of had time to reflect, not been so so busy with work, but um, have had time to do more reading, listening to music, uh, sitting quietly um, and, and kind of contemplating. And I think that's a really good word that we should attach to the lockdown and how we've changed and how we've, uh, uh, you know, positioned ourselves or, you know, kind of functioned during the lockdown is, you know, those of us who find it difficult to do contemplation and those of us who do, um, you know, we need our activity, we need our uh, extrovert engagement, our sensory engagement. Um, I often feel as I'm somewhere in the, in the middle. I am quite contemplative, but I also need to have that stimulation of being out and about. So when the weather's poor or cold, it's not so easy. And as I'm getting a bit older, you know, kind of things like arthritis, <laughs> arthritis kicks in a little bit and you start to, you know, not jump out of bed with a spring in the morning. Uh, but that aside, it's kind of, you know, the contemplation is where you get a chance to reflect on what and how you're doing things and in what way you're getting through and managing your, your relationships, establishing and forming your relationships and establishing what's valuable to you, what's important. And I'm uh, really fortunate is that I started to look at the work of Carl Jung. And one of the things Jung talks about, and you know, if he was famous for anything, there's a number of things that Jung is famous for. Uh, one of them being the psychological types. 
which is often now called personality types so that's kind of something entirely different but psychological types is is very important in terms of how we engage with the world so we're probably familiar with the idea of being introvert or extrovert um, and that's become quite common in uh, sitting on the internet there's lots of lots of websites and vlogs and youtubers talking about the difference between introversion and extroversion they go into so much more detail than than i could or or, or, or you know, i'm aware of but the general idea is that where do you get your energy from do you get your energy from external stimulation objects in the world other people or do you get it from internal contemplation and really one of the things that um, we can shift and change our understanding of is you know what that means and I read a I'm reading an introduction to uh, WB Yeats's system and he's famous for writing this kind of um, this uh, guide to I, I think it's got huge similarities to Jung's work uh, but it's the framework slightly different and the expression is slightly different and I, I'm not I'm not completely familiar with it but it's there's two kinds of uh, there's the creative mind and there's the uh, and, and that mind can work both in uh, uh, it's driven by activity or it's driven by contemplation this is the way I'm kind of reflecting on it at the moment I need to I haven't got the words right so I'm kind of <coughs> discovering it uh, and constantly you know, contemplating it as I go through so it's the idea that some people need to be out there making thought you know kind of thinking making distinctions about things measuring things tracking things looking at changes uh, evaluating things in terms of you know the, the, the metrics to use that awful phrase that go with them and some people are the other way around some people are dreamers and some people can while away the time just uh, by daydreaming and something comes forward from that which tells them how and in what way things are working and both both have their strengths both have their weaknesses but i think we live in a society that by and large is dominated by the, the active thinking process so young draws the distinction between people who are senses and people who are feelers and by feeling he means values uh, you know he means uh, those people who measure things and those people who value things and where is that drawn from where's our va where are our values drawn from well they're an internal process it's tied with emotion it's tied to uh, you know kind of a sense of caring and engagement through empathy whereas you know some people measure their success in life in terms of friendships that are based on the number of friends and the number of interactions that they have with them and not what they gain or what they have become in the process of that so my thinking's kind of it's opened me up a little bit more to being a bit more confident about my thinking process my feeling process which is that i am driven largely by the sense of uh, uh, values i'm a values driven person rather than being a um a, th a thinking type person i can do both i've trained myself to do both um one of the amazing things about doing this now is that n nobody ever seems really bothered that you're out with a selfie stick and a and a camera anymore it's become part of uh <laughs> part of the everyday uh i, I still I'm kind of slightly embarrassed by it all, uh, which which is kind of a reflection of my introverted nature. Really, is that I'm easy, easily pick up on what other people might be thinking, and I project it onto them, rather than actually just being. I'm not unabashed. I'm not. I'm not a personality-driven type person who kind of thinks, you know, hey, this is great. Let's go out and perform for everybody. I'm very much, you know, back away from the uh, from the need to be seen and judged by other people. I've always always said that my superpower is that i can tell from a, 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 a three miles away that i'm being judged by somebody uh, which which isn't great when you work in a large in institutional or, or organization because you're always hypersensitive to other people's comments which are just kind of maybe throw away comments that people didn't think about but uh, there you go
so yeah so I'll, i'm going to try and keep doing a few few more of these podcast updates keep uh, blogging and certainly what i want to do is as the weather changes one of the things i'm working on at the moment and what, one of the primary reasons i've come out today is i'm doing sound walks uh, for a program i've got on leicester community radio and i put it out as a podcast on it goes out under the uh, distraction therapy title um, and I'm going to capture and actually this is amazing because the birds today are fantastic uh, you can still hear the traffic in the city which you can never get away from the rumble of traffic in the city but the birds uh, are going to be great so watch out for that on iTunes or Google wherever you get your podcast from um, you might be able to hear them in the background uh, at the moment yeah they're good okay so uh, I'll uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out reading more and get the words right, get the terminology right about uh, uh, Yates's system and what the distinction is between the different modes of engagement and look at how it applies and, and sit alongside Jung's uh, framework, introversion, extroversion, sensing, feeling, uh, judgment, uh, those kind of things. It, it, you know, I, I'm not good at naming these things, but... Uh, that could be something we can look at in the future. So have fun, stay safe, and um, keep socially distant. My mask is in my pocket, by the way. Thanks for watching this. If you want to get in contact, the website is robwatsonmedia.net, or you can message me on Twitter or Instagram at robwmedia.